man, that world's like looking pretty sweet. Not too many of them are out anymore. Welcome back to the Buckeye State Wells. We're going to be showing you guys some very good catches that we have been getting on the CSX's Willard Subdivision and the Pemberville Subdivision. Let's start here on May 22nd, 2024. It will be a Wednesday. And I will be out towards the tracks at Wallbridge because I would get a heads up from Cincy folks that we would get a 506 from Cincy to Wallbridge with a very special interest duo. GE DC, what train they were from. They're gonna be from X225 from Willard to Wayne, Michigan. These two GEs have to pull apart with their cuts of ROX on the main so they can just work wall bridge with just their engines. But the locomotives that are sitting here right now are 3194, the Spirit of Law Enforcement and the Seaboard System, 1982. They are planned to be going on 631 to Avon tonight. Basically, Wayne, Michigan to Louisville, Kentucky. Before it was changed to Louisville, it was Baldwin, Florida, Bowner. So now it's in Louisville, Kentucky. Before 209 would have to work, Wallbridge, he's gonna have to wait for 150 because the cut of ROX from X225 is sitting on the same main as 209. So 150 is going on the other main. So that makes it that 209 is going to have to wait before he can work Wallbridge so 150 can pass him.
since 150 cleared, 209 can now do his work at Woolwich. Let's not get the fact that 209 has four locomotives leading the way for Baldwin, Florida. So they're going to be quite a long one today. They better get to work. Anyway, as I was recording 209, I was picking up something on the radio that 568 cleared Perrysburg. So they did not go for Australia today. They took the Y at Deshaun. MF 8124, If you all do not know about this, but 3194 and 1982 are basically planned on for 631. They're coming out of Wallbridge to go to Avon, Indiana. Which means they better get started on their switching or building their train. They're originally out of Wallbridge. So. I don't know what time they get on duty and stuff, but tonight, however, they'll be on duty around 5.30. It's about almost 7, and we would see them again. But for however, they're done building their train. So the next thing they gotta do is depart Wallbridge.
so 631 is now departing with the duo. And this would be the only clip that we would actually get of them departing. I would decide to do in a chase, but they were having some issues at the other crossing. We were on Oregon, and but they were having issues at the other one. So they had to get somebody to go out there and check what they're having issues on. So if that means this would be it with the duo. Back on the Pemberville subdivision south of Walbridge Yard. This is basically the first crossing. This will be N568. It's not taking the the Y from Detschler to north to Perrysburg. This time it took through Fostoria Way to go north from Fostoria on the Pemberville sub. Now this is basically the same train, but then 568 had a whole bunch of manifests, that one train. This one has a whole bunch of auto acts. And then at the end of the train has some manifest cars. So basically we're back out the tracks on the Pemberville subdivision. We're waiting on a M510 from Sensi to Detroit, Michigan. It would have the Chessy Heritage Unit leading the way on 510. We would be waiting for that, but we would have to get 568 first in another southbound that we would have to wait for that one to depart, so then 510 would go into the yard. But the thing is, though, that was what I thought. 510 will not be going into the yard. It would be unrolled because I guess they couldn't go up to Detroit anymore longer. So it would have to be on a different train for the Chelsea Heritage units. would have a southbound that's departing the Walbridge Yard. I would have no idea what to symbol that would be on this train. Either 224 or basically 567. But I don't know if it's too early or too late for 567. I'm not sure. But 224 is usually a night wander out of Woolwich. So I'm not sure about that. We would have another northbound on the Pemberville subdivision. This would be N510 with the Chessie Heritage. So I think after we get it here at this crossing, give it a chase to maybe a spot or so, but I think there's next set of signals he's gonna have to stop.
Why are we here in Burberry? Well, this is not a CSX catch, but I want to include it. But we're basically gonna be in Foss, Georgia now. We'll be catching a B-157 for Gary, Indiana with a SD-70 non-flare Mac leading the way on B-157. We'd be cool to see a Mac because most of the Macs are either trail fail or I don't see them leave. Back here at Australia, this is east of town. So why are we here again? We're basically out for a special unit that is leading on 157. That is white. A CSX locomotive would be leading 157. And that would be ending up being the Pier Maquette 1899. It would have 
that leading in a lion to twelve and second. To me, that's a pretty good consist. It's not the best, but it's good since I haven't seen a Puma Cat yet. But we would get this westbound animal going by first before we would catch the Puma Cat. I just felt like every single train that we have caught tonight on the Willard has been animals. Yes. Three of our trains tonight has been animals. We're about to get our fourth train, which is another animal train. Which ain't all bad, but it just kind of gets boring here and there. But anyway, here comes our next westbound on the little up have three units of flying either I-009 or something out I think this is I-009 
this would be ending up our train of the night. It would be 157. Yes, even though it's getting ready to be dark, it's about 9.30. The camera quality is still pretty good around this time. Had to drunk up the, the camera settings just to get a picture. But the picture turned out pretty good. But anyway, this 157 comes from Greenwich Yard in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, all the way to Chicago, Illinois. It used to be a Philadelphia to North Baltimore, but that changed because of 137 and 138 got abolished. So 157 and 158 is now doing the turn from Philadelphia to Chicago. But I just now realized 158 is still a from Baltimore to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. But yeah. At least we caught the Pier Market, I'm happy. But in the next two days we'll be out on the little shop again. Two days have passed since we saw the Pierre Maquette 1899. We're basically back out on the Willard Sub. Catching 1853. That same night as the Pierre Maquette, when we caught it, I was given some word about a 561 leaving Selkirk for Cincinnati, Ohio with the New York Central yeah. Heritage locomotives leading but basically why are we out in Hoyville well I didn't get a video in Bardstown I did get a pretty good picture of it but I just didn't get a video at Bardstown so that's why we're here in Hoyville so basically catching the New York Central and head back home but I will be back out in the next few days again.
We're back out at Foss Joya, just east of the town. We're back at the same crossing where we caught the Pyramid Cat 157. Now we're here back. It's freaking humid at 9.30 in the morning. It feels like 89 already, so yeah, I ain't gonna stay out all day for this. Luckily, however, it's been a while since 6 in the morning. And the train that we're waiting for is I-135. But I'm not gonna get into the details right away. This ethanol train is B-700. Heading for Chicago. Interchange with Union Pacific. So, actually fun fact, the Google Earth vehicle went by, so I'll be on the street view on Google Earth, maybe in six months or so. But anyway, let's get this B700, shall we? If you've seen the unit, yes, we're basically back out for that one. 1871, the Atlantic Coast Line unit will be leading 135. Basically, Father's Day night, I was given some heads up about a 135 will be leaving Kelby, Suffolk, Virginia. Would be bound for Chicago, Illinois with the Atlantic Coast Line leading in basically two NS motors. Well, as you've seen there, it would be the Atlantic Coast Line and the one NS C6L. Where Matt wasn't in the contents of their beginning journey to Chicago. Well, that because they picked it up for Clubber. So they decided to pick that up since 
the train was going to be a decent long one from Columbo. From Selfolk, the NSGBO was trolling third out of the three. But then they decided they would put the NSGBO as a mid TPU and then with the Flare Mac as well. So they ended up putting up a pretty good contest for 135 this morning. But after catching this train, this will wrap it up of this CS6 video that I decided to do. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all either in the Michigan or State or the Buckeye State Well.